Almighty. Amen. I want to speak to us today on love. Uh, maybe not in the direction I'm a bit above you uh, bearing in mind that today they are celebrating or the world is celebrating. Now it is okay, but I want to bring uh, the message today uh, in, a, in a way that God will help us to understand it. And maybe for the purpose of those who are writing, I want to speak about love, God's way. Upendo, you know, jinsi yake mungu, jinsi mungu anadio udihirisha. Praise the name of the Lord. Love, God's way. Upendo, jia yake mungu. Ama vile ambavyo mungu, anaweza ama nakusudia, uweza uh, kutuonyesha ama jinsi ambavyo tunaifaa tunafaa kuchukua upendo ama pia kupenda uh, love God's way and uh, one of the greatest way to prosperity not this one of the greatest way to prosperity and success in this world over everything that you undertake is doing it God's way Bwana sifiwe sana ya kwamba kitu ambacho ama jia ambayo ni ya kuleta ufanisi mkubwa sana katika ulimwengu huu kwa chochote kile ambacho unafanya ufanisi huo utatokana unapofanya kile kitu ama lile jambo jia yake Mungu the way God wants it done the Bible says in the book of Proverbs 14 Proverbs 14 and verse 12 there is a way that seems right to a man, but in the end, it leads to death. Kunajia. And today I'm talking about way, God's way. Love God's way. So kuna ile jia ambayo ni ya mungu, na kuna jia zingine, zinakaa kana kuamba ziko sawa, lakini ya ziko sawa. Naniposa the wise man hapa kasema there is a way that seems right to a man. Kuna jia inayokaa kana kwamba ni nzuri. Today as they are celebrating the day the Valentine's day as as, as it is such as, as it were. There are so many people that will be leaning in a certain direction ama jia fulani wakifikiria hiyo jia ni nzuri. As the scripture says there is a way inakaa it seems so we are not sure if it is the right way or not and i must speak as i speak about love god's way ni vizuri kuweza kujiuliza na kujua chochote kile ninachofanya uh uh vile ambavyo ninavyofanya mambo jia hiyo ni jia gani is it a good way is it god's way or it is a way that seems good the Bible says that there is a way that seems right to a man. That is not to God, to, you, to a man, just another man. But in the end, you take that way, it will lead to death. Praise the name of the Lord. And so there are many times we want to do things. And there are many ways into doing it. Kuna jia mingi za kufanya mambo. Mingi sana. Na tunapo shindwa, tunapo kosa kukurikognize, kutambua jia yake mungu, then we are doomed for destruction. Tuzipo fanya mambo jinsi mungu anavyo kusudia, kwa sababu tumesema kuna jia mingi sana za kufanya mambo. Kuna jia mingi sana za kupenda. Kuna jia mingi sana za kujenga. Kuna jia mingi sana za kuestablish. Kuna jia mingi sana pia za kumalizia jambo. Kuna jia mingi za kufanya 1, 2, 3, all to 100 ways of doing things. But to simple hudua, the only best way, and that is why I began my introduction by saying, one of the greatest way to prosperity and success in this world all over, it is when we undertake things and purpose do things in the way of God, God's way. Jia yake mungu. 
Bwana Yesu apewe sifa. So if we fail to recognize God's way, we will be destroyed. If we don't build foundations in the right way and God's way, tutaanguka na mwanguko wake utakuwa mkubwa. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. So as I said, we are in a day or a season where so many people, they easily fall into temptations of fake love. Bara sifia sana. Watu wengi wanaanguka leo na ama wiki hii katika mwanguko wa kitu kinaitwa temptation ya upendo fake, upendo badia. Fake love. I spoke to somebody over the week, I don't know last week ama nilini, ambaye alikuwa aniambia you know, mimi natafuta mtu ambaye atanisoti tarehe 14. Mwenye atanisoti tarehe 14, mwenye atanipeleka lunch ama dinner. So nikamuliza after that, akaniambia after that mimi tunamalizana. Mimi ni kule tu vitu zake. Mimi ni kule tu vitu zake. That is what we call fake love. Na wengi wanayonyesha, wanajua kuyonyesha. Fake. Atafaa smart nini nini na atajaribu kusifu yule ambaye anajua atampatia wherever atapata pesa nini na chakula mzuri na vinywaji and all that. Eh? But you see, it is not genuine. And the direction of that kind of love, it is not the intention yake Mungu because somebody is of course atagaramika at the expense of fake love. It is also a way. Na ndio nikasema there is a way that seems right to man. But it end leads to death. Kuna watu wengi leo wanaanza maisha ya vifo vyao. Kuna watu wanaanza safari ya kufa kwao. Both spiritual and sometimes even physical. Kwani mshahara wa dhambi ni nini? Ni mauti. That's a scripture. Now, majority of people today, they will do it. Now, the so-called love. You know, majority of the lovers now and the loved ones, they will do it out of what they will get. Remember, we are talking about love, God's way. When you leo, wanna focus, and especially kwa dada nisamea kwa hiyo, Expect they will focus on what they will get. Listen, kind listen, listen. They will, they will, they will, they will focus on what they will get from the other person. But that is not love God's way. That is not true love. Let's go to John three sixteen. John three sixteen. Hii hata tusipofungua tunajua vile inasema lakini for the purpose of us of our study uh, let's open John 3:16 Bwana Yesu apewe sifa sana Amen Now the Bible inasema hivi for God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life ya kwamba mungu aliupenda ulimwengu sana now there are two things i want you to get from here true love you are speaking about true true love now the love god so upendo wa kweli ambao ni upendo jia ama jinsi yake Mungu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Out of love God did what? Gave. Kwa sababu ya upendo Mungu akapeana. Number two, because of that love he gave his son. He did just give he gave yes. So his intention of giving was because of love that is number one. intention kusudi lake la kupeana lilikuwa ni kwa sababu ya nini ya upendo upendo wa ukweli the true love 
And number two, because of that intention, he gave that which he loved most, or he whom he loved most, who was his son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Now, true love, it has been exemplified by God himself, and that is through giving. Hallelujah. Amen. God has exemplified. Ameonyesha, ameonyesha, amepatia na mfano mzuri na yeye mwenyewe kuhusu upendo. Na amedhirisha upendo si kwa kupokea. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Amedhirisha upendo si kwa kupokea. Amedhirisha upendo kwa kutoa. He has given and that is why sometimes even when we are coming to worship, we don't come to, to collect from here. We come to give God our worship. Tunakuja kumpatia mungu shukurani zetu. Kwa sababu tunampenda. Tunakuja kutoa sadaka zetu. Kwa sababu tunampenda. We are giving. It is true love is about giving. It is not about receiving. One else was if you are Amen. I watched a, 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 an interview this week and I thank God for the lady mwenye alijibu hii. Haka ulizwa, sasa hii siku ya Valentine, ya kuomba wanaume, wako, you know, wako na, wako na pressure, hata, sasa hata wanapanga conference ambayo hiko kwa hewa, wanataka kuenda, wanataka kuenda kwa sababu wajukumu ni mengi, wanashindo wa hizo bills watalipa aje. So, mwenye alikuwa na uliza maswari ya na uliza. Is it that ni lazima a man ikuwe ni ye, Every year, every year, and I need think maybe you're not even married. You come and hear and buy and atoa, and a and a ganamika yo bilukubwa. So the lady was like, if there is love, it is not a must. You come and hear and a ganamika. If you as a lady you are able to do it because of love, you can also give. I was like, yes. Mm, yes. <laughs> I was like, yes, because we are talking about love. Where there is love, there is the aspect of giving. So true love has been exempt imedhihirishwa. Ye Mungu mwenyewe ameonyesha jinsi ya kupenda. Now, out of that scripture about to mention John 3:16, nataka ni kuonyesha about four, four, four areas. Uh, four about four areas uh, of concern. Actually, I've already said one. One is true love has been is is about giving. For God so loved the world that he did what? He gave. He gave. So, Maria Papo kuna upendo, God's way, there has to be the giving. Number two, true love, upendo wa ukweli, true love, it is relational. True love is relational. That there has to be a genuine relationship. Sio upendo wa tare kumi na peke yake. Sio upendo wa siku moja. It has to be, it has to be genuine. And there has to be a relationship. Now you don't build a relationship with one day. A relationship you build it, uh, uh, in it's continuous. It's continuous. You no, know, it's something that you begin and you put effort into it. Now your effort, sometimes you are giving, sometimes you are receiving, sometimes you are giving, sometimes you are receiving. It is not only about receiving and receiving and receiving only. So true love, it has to be relational. And that is why if you look, that he gives his only son, that whoever believes in him. Now believing in somebody, it means there is a relationship that has been created. Kuna usiano umetengenezo mahali. And that is why you don't just go kwa barabara and you just wewe unaenda ukidish your money to anybody. Hapana. Hata ukienda kwa hoteli saa hii hauwezi ukapatia anybody ama ukalipia anybody hapana unless you are maybe uko na interest zingine ambazo unajua kuna vile utafanya alafu na wao wakufanya alafu uweze kufanya nini? You know what I mean. Anaisha spia sana. So you give you 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 give 
to somebody ambaye muko na relationship nae. And that is why I say true love is relational. There has to be that genuine kind of relationship ambayo sio fake. Remember pale nyuma tumeongea kuhusu fake love, upendo badia. Yesu ama Mungu upendo wake ulikuwa wa ukweli. And that is why he was giving him whom he loved most his son Jesus. Whoever believes in him, this is where relationship comes in. Believing in somebody. Hallelujah. Amen. Believing in somebody. Number three, true love is considerate. It is kind. Now when you continue to read that scripture, so whoever believes in him shall not perish. So if, if the intention of God to give his son was that you don't perish. So he is considering you. God was considering the man, the world. And that is why he purposed to give and to sacrifice that son on behalf of you. It is considerate. He intended us to be at peace and to be happy. Mungu wali kusugia tukue na amani. Na tukue tumefurahia. Because of love or in the name of love. In the name of love. He wanted us. He, 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 had, he, he had that love, you know. He, he considered us. But that I assist to me, eh? what shall ni, ni sacrifice who you because of them? Number four is that true love has a future. True love has a future. Shall not perish but have eternal life. Eternity is not today. Eternity is of course starting today and to all the way to tomorrow. So there is a future. Upendo wa ukweli Uko na siku za kesho. Siku za kesho zanye ziku na matumaini. Actually, God's intention was not to love us a day. Yesu wakuwa, mungu wakuwa na kusudia, anatupene ile siku mwanaya likufa, ama yu weekend, peke yaki alafu yu story na isha hivo. He intended us to live and to be there and to have the domain forever he wanted us to spend eternity with him so i've given you four points that true love has been exemplified by uh, exemplified by god through giving true love is relational kuna uhusiano relationship True love is considerate and kind. And true love has a future. Now let me bring a question to us today. Looking into the above four points, we need to ask ourselves if the love that we see today upendo una upenda wewe leo eina umeoa umeolewa Ama bakata kama ujolewa, jinsu nabiju dhirisha mo kwenyesha upendo kwa wengine. Is it love God way? Ni vile ambabiju mungu anakusudia. Ivo ni vile mungu alikusudia tuweza kupenda. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. Because one of the things that you realize is that today so many people will be perishing out there. And so many people are perishing out there. In the name of, mimi wacha nikai hapa because of what I'm getting. It is not out of what I'm giving. Yes, men will give and give. But if the intention of you being there in that relationship, it is about receiving and receiving and receiving, pekeake, then it is not the love God's way. You need to do something. You need to change it. And it is not about money only. There is so much that you can give. And in this area we are talking about love. A genuine love. You are compassionate. You mean it. Na imanisha kwamba hakuta kuwa na ups and downs. They will be there. 
There are times challenges will be there. Sometimes you feel low. You don't want to talk whatever. But it's what we are talking about love. Have you loved God's way? Now, when wrongs come, the Bible says, love keeps no record of what? Wrongs. So wrongs will come. Wrongs will come. Challenges will come. Heart hates will come. But will you keep a record of that? In the name of God, you will see what you are doing. You will see what you are doing. Yeah? Let's, let's look. Let's look uh, in the book of, 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 of Corinthians. First Corinthians. First Corinthians. I will not get a push And I would want you to go and check that scripture this really after this. If I speak in the tongues of men and of angels, but have not love, I am only a resounding gong or a clanging sign. If I have the gift of prophecy and can perform all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have faith that can move mountains but have not love, I am nothing. Hey, if I give all I possess to the poor and surrender my body to the flames but have not love, I gain nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Well, come on, I'm talking about the pendo. Let's see the pendo too. Upendo jinsi ambavyo mungu wana kushudia. Listen to this. Wewe ni kama mkebe ya kimbo. Mnajua kimbo? Mwana isa sikia sana. Kuna wato meni angalia ni kato kamba yoni ni. Kimbo ilikuwa mafuti ilikuwa natumika kitambo. Na ilikuwa ina wewe kwa mkebe ya, ya, ya mabati. Sasa kuna wimbo pia walikuwa na imbo wakati huo. Wewe uno. I can't speak to you, but in the time when you were in the mafuta, 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 you were in the mafuta. Now, Paul is going to say, I don't know what to do, 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 the cranking cyber, the cranking cyber, the cranking cyber, Sometimes that kerele is irritating. So if you are there and you don't love God's way, you are irritating. Mungu atusaidie tukuwe na upendo na tupende jinsi mungu anavyo kusudia. Mwanezo asifia sana. We love God's way. You go down and you know, love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. Uh -uh. And love yes for everybody. By the way, it's for everybody. It is not rude, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered, it keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. Upendo haukosi. So ni lazima tupende watu wa Mungu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Ni lazima tupenda tujulize jinsi tunavyopenda je, tunapendana ama tunapenda jinsi ambavyo Mungu anafurahishwa na upendo wetu. Ninavyodhihirisha upendo kwa yule ambaye karibu nami, ninampenda kulingana vile ambavyo Mungu anakusudia. Romans chapter 12 and verse 9. You can write those scriptures. Romans chapter 12 and verse 9. Bible inasema hivi that uh, uh, uh. Love must be sincere. Hate what is evil and cling to what is good. Kile ambacho ni kiovu, kiovu, achana nacho na kichukia sana. Lakini upende kile ambacho ni kizuri. So love must be sincere. And the sincere love is love God's is love God's way. Sincere love. It is love God's way. Wana sincere sana. First John 3.16, you can also check there. And uh, as, as I almost come to the end of my sermon today, First, first John chapter 3 and uh, verse, verse, verse 18. Bible in Asema Hebrew, Dear children, let us not love with words or tongue, but with actions and in truth. Hallelujah. Amen. Watu wa mungu. Tu si pendane tu kwa maneno na ulimi. Leo watu wanapenda na maneno, ngoja. 
Leo. Leo watu wanapendwa na ulimi na tumaua. Mimi hata ni tufake. Tumaua. Lakini matendo ni akili nataka tu kwako leo. That's 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 bad. It's not love God's way. Mara sikia sana. It is not love God. The Bible inasema Dear children, let us not love with words or tongue, but with actions and in truth. Not only actions, but in truth. truth. In truth. Hallelujah. Amen. Chapter 4, verse 2. This is how you can recognize the Spirit of God. I mean, uh, first, first, first John chapter 4 and verse 2. Is it the same? Is it? Not verse 2, sorry, verse 12. Verse 12. I've been a same evening. Dear, verse 11 and 12. Dear children, since God so loved us, we also ought to love one another. No one has ever seen God. But if we love one another, God lives in us and his love is made complete in us. Hakuna aliyoiona Mungu. Lakini tukipendana moja kwa mwingine, Mungu anaishi ndani yetu na upendo wake unatukamilisha. If you don't love God's way, you are not complete. Because God is love. And we are the children of God. One of the things I want us to let you know is that God did not have to send his son to die for us. Actually, yes. Do you know you can change things around you? You can change the way you love. We can influence others to love God's way. Wana sifia sana. Kuna siku niliwambia kwamba everyone has influence. Everyone has influence. And the influence that we have can make a difference. Influence ushawishi. Ule ambao tuko nao unaweza ukafanya mabadiliko na ndio sababu angalia katika kisiasa wale viongozi wa bao kule chini ushawishi walio nao katika decisions zinazofanywa kule juu kisiasa ni mkali ni mkali juzi nimeona viongozi wengine sijui western jana kwa news wamesema deposa wapitishe ile document ambayo wanahitaji izunguke kupitishwa wanataka pesa fulani na wanataka vitu fulani ndio tufanye vile mnataka i had it in the news yesterday what i'm saying is this everybody akue mudogo ama mkubwa akue ako na kitu ama hana everybody has influence ako na usho hata kama ni ushawishi wa mtu mmoja wewe usinishawishi yeah everybody has so wewe nataka kuambia hivi you can make a difference in somebody's life you can influence people to love God's way. You can love unconditionally. Bila mashalti. You can love mahali ambapo pia kuna vita. You can love even when it is difficult to love. Unajua kuna watu ni gumu kupenda. Hallelujah. There are people who are so difficult so difficult but how how wao wanafanya nini hapa they should be the village wakiwa na wana 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 nangana nangana na huko because of the way you look at them hawa katika mahali kwa mnaishi maybe kwa plot ni wale watu ambao wanasemekana ya kwamba huyo tafadhali ukitaka amani kwa huyo peanga tu salamu there are people who are like that in the, where we stay ya kwamba huyo aguzikagi eh ni no goes on This is true. 
jana jana kwetu soja alikuwa ameenda kidogo alafu akarudi akasikia alisemwa kwa mkubwa yule alienda tu na kusema ameenda ikasema akajulikana alisemwa kwa ladro nakwambia jana amepiga kelele amepiga kelele mpaka nikaitwa na kiateka pasta uko nyumba yeye kuja niende nikatulize huyo ni yule you don't touch kuna watu wa kwanga hivi those people are not wanaka hawezi pendeka lakini however love even when it is difficult to love love them even if it is difficult <laughs> love even when it is painful kuna wakati inaumiza lakini kwa sababu neno la Mungu limeniambia nipende na nataka kutii Mungu acha tu nipende Actually yako ni kupenda. Kupenda tu, kumwangalia tu hivi hata kama apende, kimwangalia tu na umpende, jinsi hakuna haja kuitisha kitu. You know, haja kuitisha kitu. Na wewe si lazima umpatie kitu, lakini umpende jinsi alivyo. It is God's work not yours. Even when it is painful. Maybe you there is a past unajua iko, mtu alifanya hivi na ikaniumiza kabisa. Love even when it is painful. Love without fail. Tulisoma scripture love never fails. Love without fail. In everything love God's way. Love God's way. I want you to close your eyes and go before God and tell God, Mungu mimi najua nimesijapenda jinsi ulivyo kusudia. And where I have not loved your way today help me to love God's way just just make that prayer maybe you are part of those people ambao wamekuwa ni kikwazo you know wewe ume every time you know you want it's about what you receive it's about what they will give but the point is is that really the way God's intention of love was not really his intention of God's love was about giving it's about the relationship it's about consider it it's about uh looking into the future that our god has for us in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus whatever it is let us love whatever it is let us love and love god's way in jesus name Hallelujah. Father, may you release the grace to love and to love unconditionally. May you release the grace to love and to love even in this heart. Release the grace to love in the might of Jesus. Oh my God and my God, in the name of Jesus, give you grace Blessed be your name, O God, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I want to thank you that God, you have ministered to us on how or on the way to love your way. May you help us to internalize this message that we not love because of what we are going to receive but out of what we will give because we give out of love as your son Jesus Christ was given to us by you. I thank you and I bless you because you are faithful. May you minister upon every one of us who has listened to this message this day father in the name of jesus i believe that the way we have loved before if we have not done it your way we will love your way we thank you and we bless you because you are good and you are faithful in jesus name we pray and we give thanks Amen.